Okay guys, just a quick little video talking about the difference between outliers and anomalies. First of all, let's define what an outlier is. An outlier is an extreme value, and it's something that we just don't kind of give a definition to by just looking at it and saying, oh, that's much bigger or that's much smaller. There's usually a mathematical definition, or well, there's always a mathematical definition, that we're asked to use. Um, generally, it's one of these guys using the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and some multiple of the interquartile range, generally 1.5. The other one that I've seen is mean plus or minus two or three standard deviations. So what you do is you use that data, use the data that you've got, work out these things, standard deviation, quartiles, whatever. And if you're inside that range, you're fine. But if you're outside the range that this calculation gives you, then you've got an outlier. Anomaly is something slightly different, though. It's something that's when you look at the data, it's clearly an error. It just doesn't fit in with what's going on. Let's take an example. Generally, there's going to be a correlation between, say, how many things you buy and how much things cost. So, I don't know, five cars cost so much. Ten cars will cost more than that. Of course, there are sometimes you can get discounts for bulk, but the idea is the more you buy, the more you spend. An anomalous piece of data will be something that bucks that trend. So saying, like, I don't know, 10 cars cost, I don't know, a million pounds, and 12 cars cost less than a million pounds. It's clearly an error. It doesn't fit the pattern. If you are going to remove anomalies, and that's what generally you're meant to do, that's called cleaning the data, you have to give a reason. You have to say, why is this an anomaly, um, rather than just being an outlier? It's okay to be an outlier. There are generally outliers in real life you take this you think back to your primary school days most of you are all about the same size but there's always one very tall kid or one very short kid outliers exist in real life that's just the thing so that's the difference between an outlier and an anomaly an outlier is something that you calculate um using whatever um particular definition they give you generally in the exam they'll tell you what to do if they don't you can generally use the lower quartile upper quartile interquartile range business an anomaly is a it's a data, data point that's clearly error. It doesn't fit any kind of mathematical pattern, and you are meant to remove it. It's called cleaning the data. Okay, hopefully that's cleared up the difference between outliers and anomalies.